Nashville vlog, you guys. If you are new here, my name is Sophia. I'm so happy to have you guys here. I am just about to go get my nails done. I'm going to take you guys for just like a day in my life. Like today's a little bit hectic. I very last minute decided I wanted to vlog today, but I'm about to go get my nails done. I got this gorgeous blue color last time. My first time like ever getting dark nails in a very long time. They're a little bit actually very very grown out also don't mind the tanner on my hands okay i thought they were more navy which like in the darker light they do look more navy but in the light they look a little bit more like cobalty blue but i think that i am going to be doing another dark color for this appointment i'm listen i'm gonna spill some tea right now i'm feeling like something very important is going to be happening in my life soon. I, I'm picking up some clues. I'm trying to turn a blind eye because I'm an Aquarius and I just figure everything out, but I'm picking up some hints and I feel like something, you know what I'm saying, is going to be happening soon. And I'm only going to get one more dark color before I go back to a neutral set. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, we are going to head into the nail appointment. Here is the before. Here is the color reveal. Perfection. This is exactly the green that I was going for. I feel like this is a really springy green. We love a good like army green with a tan, with the gold jewelry. But you guys saw how long my nails were. And she asked me, I saw somebody new. I found a lady here. She's amazing, but she's having her baby within the next like seven days. She's pretty much ready to go at any point. So she's not really seeing anybody right now, which I'm so bummed about. I was only able to see her twice. She'll be back though. But for right now, I had to find a new lady at the salon that I go to. And I love the salon, but I told her, she's like, do you want to go shorter? And I said, only just a little bit. I really like my nails longer. You can like cut it just a, the slightest bit, but I know that you go, like you'll, you guys will file it, but not that much shorter. These are the shortest nails I've had in a long time. And that's okay. Like you guys might be thinking like, so if those aren't even short, but like, girl, girl, I like my nails long. And when they're dark nails, like darker colors, I feel like when you have shorter nails and they're lighter, that's one thing. But when you have darker nails, I feel like going longer is just a moment and it's okay though. It's totally fine. My nails are my big outing. So sometimes I get like, you know, very specific with, it. I don't do lashes or brows or anything like that. So this is like my big outing for the month, but it's okay. You know what? Everything's fine. There's worse things that are going on. The color is still amazing. And we love that. I need to head home now. I have a meeting with my assistant coach, Gina. We have like our usual weekly meeting. We're working on something very exciting right now. So we got to go. We got to go home. I figured we could have a little bit of a car chat right now, you guys. I don't think I've ever done one of these. I haven't found like a place to put up my camera in the car where it looks good. But so far, let me give you a little rundown. We are loving Nashville. It is so fun to live here. So fun. Having a blast. It's almost like there's too much to do. I'm like overwhelmed every weekend because I'm like, I need to do so many different things. I want to explore more. But this weekend is St. Patrick's Day and I am so excited. The only thing, the only issue that I'm having is that there is so much alcohol and partying here and I'm just not used to that. Like not only is this our first big city that we've ever lived in, Nash and I, but I just am not used to drinking so much and having so much access to so many things that involve alcohol and a few people that we've talked to that we've met here say that they really struggle with that too that they've lived here for two years and they're still trying to like find a balance with alcohol and partying and going out because pretty much every activity that you do involves alcohol so i'm trying to like really find a balance and i'm also i won't lie you guys i'm trying out different things like i can i even say it on youtube micro dosing okay and i'm having a blast with it i don't want to go too into it right now because i don't know how much i can say i don't know how much i can give away but i'm trying other things that are making me feel better because drinking alcohol it's i don't know i'm i'm liking it it's fun we're drinking a lot more now but I'm waking up feeling like shit. I'm waking up with such bad anxiety. I'm just, a whole day is wasted and I'm like, I can't do this. Like, I can't. I went to, Nash and I went out last week and it was my first time getting drunk in a really long time. Like, it's been forever since I've been drunk and woke up super hungover. And it was because we, like, went out to dinner 
had a couple drinks there and Ashley like it's such a nice night we should continue we should just you know continue to go out I was like sure so we go to printers alley and then we go into like a jazz blues club and it was so fun and we met two of you guys there okay two gals from Arkansas that were visiting and they were there for the Olivia Rodrigo concert and they came up to me and they're like oh my god you know whatever we introduced ourselves we ended up hanging out all night long and it was literally so much fun but we ended up at a burlesque club and I just kept drinking. I kept drinking and then I ended the night with an espresso martini, which you think, oh my God, what a great idea. Not a great idea. Not a great idea to end with an espresso martini when you've been drinking tequila sodas all night. What was I thinking? Rookie move, so rookie move. So I don't know, we're, we're loving it so far, but there's so much more to do here that I'm like, okay, I need to like just figure out how to also have fun being sober too, because I just get so easily influenced and I'm like, I, totally let's take a shot totally let's have a drink you know why not fuck it i don't know i'm trying to figure that out you guys i really am so tbd on on how that is but overall it's amazing living closer to family and my older sister's out here my parents are out here i'm seeing like my family once or twice a week and it's just like amazing because i miss them so much and knowing that my family's close is just it's just the best is the best i really am loving it here and i just feel like my spark is back I know it's so cheesy, but I genuinely feel like my spark is back and you can see it in all of the pictures that I've been posting. Like I'm smiling for the first time, like with my teeth in forever. Like I've never left my smile. I've always been a big grinner, which is why I grin. I've nailed my grin, but I'm literally smiling with my teeth now because I'm so fucking happy here. And I just feel, I just feel like everything was just meant to be meant to happen, meant to be we were meant to end up here. And it, really makes me realize that like when I was living in Reno, I really was mentally not happy. And it, it just really puts everything into perspective that I definitely was depressed in Reno for the last year. And I don't feel like you really realize that you're in a mental rut. Like you kind of do, but not really because you're just taking it day by day. And like, you know, the days are long, but the weeks are short and then time flies and then you're in a new place or a new lifestyle. And all of a sudden you're just like so much happier. And then you look back and you're like, Ooh, I really was struggling a lot mentally so yeah we're just we're just loving it Nashville's so fun but it's a lot you guys like it's a lot before I hop into my meeting I want to show you guys the podcast room slash my office I worked with an amazing interior designer it's my first interior designer that I've ever worked with before and she was just incredible she does everything like online but it looks it just looks so good it's still like a huge work in progress but the main part of it is pretty much done so I'm going to show you guys there's the door this whole thing is going to be covered by I have to cut it covered by fabric and put up there to take up like all of that space and then there's the walking pad and the desk here i'll get the ugly part out of the way first we're going to be putting a giant bookcase here so i can showcase all of my books and get that organized but here is the reveal of the cutie podcast area you guys does it look amazing so we hung we just got the curtains hung and everything which they are like really thick velvet curtains that soak up a ton of the sound which is great because it was so echoey in here which is the main reason we did that and then we've got two little cushions and stuff here those are the little mic things i still have to get like a another camera and a new two new microphones and stuff because I'm, I'm trying to figure it out i do all my podcasting on my own so i'm trying to figure it out but yeah, I just love it. Like, isn't that so cute? Like, okay, bestie chats. Hi, there's the shot right there. That's the money shot that you guys are going to be seeing. <gasps> look at her. <laughs> no, it looks so bad. Gorgina. Surprise, I'm vlogging and I'm getting your pretty face on it. I didn't tell you. Here I am in all my glory. But usually Gina and I will meet once a week for sure. And then Lexi and I will meet once a week as well. And then we'll also have like weekly team meetings. Meetings, meetings, meetings. But Gina and I are going to be chatting all about an exciting thing that we're doing. We're going to be doing a mentorship program, you guys. So anybody who wants to be an online coach and personal trainer, anybody who wants to do what we do, you know, dabbling into social media, marketing yourself, how to get clients, literally everything that we do, we are going to tell you guys how we do it. And we're really excited. So we are working, we've been working for the past couple months on this to make it absolutely perfect for you guys. So that's what we're gonna be chatting about today, right? It's gonna be so fun. The phase of three months is already coming up. What? Yes. She's resigning for another three. Okay, really that's exciting. awesome. Yeah. I feel like that's how I can kind of 
I need your help. Jean and I just finished up our call and then worked a little bit more on the mentorship program. I completed a few of the slides and stuff. So it's going to be amazing. You guys, we're so excited. Like we are working very hard on it because we want, we're both perfectionists and we want it to be nothing but the absolute best that you guys are getting. I am going to go to the gym right now. I don't really know what I want to hit. I wanted to hit legs, but then I put on this outfit. It's, it was just released by TLF. I put on this outfit and I'm like, this is giving upper body. Hold on. Let me show you guys. Tell me this isn't giving upper body. Yeah. How freaking cute is this? This new top. I love, this is like my favorite kind of top. I also love getting like going out tops that have this and then a little open up back moment. And then the material of this is amazing. You've got like a little booty scrunch right here too. I always do like a little fold down at the top just cause I feel like it's more flattering and then make sure to scrunch it up the booty. But now I'm thinking I need to hit upper body because like I already did upper body this week. Like I need to hit legs, but I have to hit upper body with this. I don't know. I'll put my code and my link in my bio for you guys. Cause this was just released. I'm a medium all around. Yeah, this is literally so cute. Okay, I want to update you guys on my workout routine because it's changed so much. I'm still trying to get into a routine here in Nashville, and I feel like I just started over the past month, although I was down for one week with a stomach virus that I think went, I think it just spread across all of America. When I tell you, I was like heaving my guts up for almost like eight hours straight. It was horrible, and I was sick for like a whole week, so that kind of threw me off a little bit, but other than that... I'm back on my routine. I am doing four days of workouts right now. I'm doing two days of solid core, which solid core is, it's like a met, met former. It's like Pilates meets strength training. And it's so fucking difficult. You guys, like I can't even put into words how difficult it is. My first class, I almost didn't, I didn't make it. I had to, I have to, I still have to take a lot of rest within the class, but I'm able to push myself more and more each class that I go to, which is really cool, but I'm loving it because I'm able to really challenge myself. And as an athlete and a former athlete, I really miss challenging myself. Like at the gym, I just don't feel like I challenge myself anymore, but I don't feel like I need to be challenging myself. Like I don't really care for progressive overload as much right now. Like I'm not focused on lifting like hella weight. Like I really just want to go and strength train at the gym just to like enjoy doing that and just to get some movement in and to continue to, you know, maintain my muscle and stuff like that. But I'm really not looking to, where am I going? I'm still trying to figure out my fucking way around here. Oh, pothole. <laughs> Story of my life here in Nashville. Um, but anyways, I just don't feel like I need to push myself that much at the gym, but I still like to go. I still love a good gym vibe, but I've been loving the solid core classes. It's definitely expensive, but it's really worth it. It is so difficult. Like I won't lie you guys, you won't make it through your first class very easily, but each time that you go, it's going to get easier and easier and it's going to get more fun. And you can also like meet people there, you know, and I've met some really cool people there. The teachers are great and I've been having a blast with it. So two strength training days, one full upper body, one full lower body at the gym and then two solid core classes for right now and then I'm walking on my walking pad every single day and I mean like every single morning I'm waking up I'm getting my ass on my walking pad and that is what I've been doing and it's been super awesome I just love my walking pad it's like cardio in the convenience of my own home and like who doesn't who doesn't love that you know so I've been getting a ton more steps in and right now my goals are just to get back into my routine I don't feel like I really need to change my body that much. I love the way that I look and I just want to get into a routine and try new things and meet new people. And that's kind of like what I'm doing right now. So I'm headed to do an upper body day. It's my second upper body day of the week because how am I supposed to do a lower body day in this outfit? Like you're, it's a crime if you're not doing upper body in this, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll do a full body. You know what? Maybe I'll do that. And then I'll do legs this weekend for St. Patty's day or something like that. But I'm excited. The gyms in Nashville are really interesting. Everybody is super young and hot here, which is great, but it's very intimidating when you walk into a gym. Like it really makes me miss my old people and oh, that road is shut down. Okay, good. Nice. I'm lost. I miss having old people at the gym who don't really give a fuck. And I know people are going to be like, well, you shouldn't care what you look like. Like, it doesn't matter what to me. You know what? I'll be honest to me. It does. I want to look good at the gym for myself. I want to look in the mirror and be like, okay, slay. And I can't do that if, if, if I don't feel like I look good. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. It's just me. You can call me crazy. You can judge me all you want, but it's just, it's what I like. Okay. And it's what 
it's just what I need. And I don't know, the gyms here are just wild. And one of the gyms actually that I'm going to right now, I just feel like it's a, it's just a, it's a lot. It's like a social hour. There's a lot of, I think there's a lot of influencers that go to that gym and I don't know, they just have equipment there that I really like. And the equipment is really, really great. And it just, it's kind of a bummer. We found a new gym too, that we really like. It's giving more like bodybuilder vibes, which we love. But other than that, yeah, this gym that I'm going to is I feel like everybody who lives in Nashville kind of knows what gym I'm talking about, but it's just a lot. It's like a social hour and I'm like, I'm just here to get in and get out, you know? And also like, strut my stuff. Oh, hello! Hey, what's going on? How was your workout? It was good. I worked out a little harder than you though because I got here an hour before you and then we're leaving at the same time. You did the red light therapy. I just went For eight dinner. minutes. Did you meet a friend? I did. That's cute. I met a friend, you guys. She was so sweet. That's the one thing about Nashville is that I've been meeting so many people here, which is so crazy, and it's been so fun. But I met a friend, which is pretty <laughs> cool. It's pretty cool, you guys. But um, I think we're going to head home now, yeah? Yeah. We're going to And head. shower, because I'm nasty. And shower together. I'm st it's starting to get like a lip. Hey, yeah. This is PG. Just kidding, my whole life is not PG. But the one thing about living over on this side of the country is that it's starting to get humid. And it's not even that humid. And no, I'm already it's like not, not humid, able like, to handle it. It's a little humid. Like the gyms are humid. It's just humid everywhere. So but I like the sweat though. I like a good sweat. I don't like a good sweat when I'm, I'm like, I'm not when you're tanning. chilling. Not, no. No, not when I'm tan though. Yeah, that you know, when you self tan, like you just don't want to sweat. Because the more you sweat, it, the more it's going to come off, you know? So. It's brutal. You gotta pick and choose your battles here. But anyways, fa fancy seeing you here. Fancy seeing you here. I love you. Mm, love okay. you too. Okay, bye! So fun. So fun. Okay, very last minute, but I'm going out to lunch with my sister and her friend who's in town. Here's the little fitty check. We've got a Ritzia bodysuit from Babaton, and then these are also from Ritzia Denim Forum. Major slay, they're new. Okay, this is new. And then these are little Nikes. They're actually really cute. I want to show you guys these shoes. Aren't they fun? Fun little cutie shoes. But anyways, we're going. We're going and I'm taking you along. How are you guys? I just got home. We, I didn't film anything. This is why like I need to get better at YouTubing. I'm, I'm new here, okay. But I brought my camera and I forgot that I brought it. And I just enjoyed, I was really present. I was really in the moment, you guys. But my sister's friend who is in town for a bachelorette party, which did you guys know there's like eight to 10,000 bachelor and bachelorette parties that come to Nashville every single weekend. And that's no exaggeration. And you can see that they're everywhere, which I love. It's such a slay. But we went to the Hampton Social, which is like just a really fun place to eat. If anybody's in Nashville, the Hampton Social is like a really fun brunchy spot. They've got rosé all day, super, super yummy food. And then we took my sister's friend out to Broadway and we went to Whiskey Row, which is Dirk Bentley's bar. And then we went to Jason Aldean's, which is just the basic ones. But I'm like, we've got to, we were taking her Broadway virginity. Like we got to take her to the good spots. And now we're home now. I'm going to shower off. And my sister, you guys, she's going on a date. Should we go bother her? Let's go stress her out. You guys, Chooch is going on a date tonight. Where'd you meet him? What online dating app? Hinge. hinge sleigh. It's a hinge sleigh. hinge sleigh. This is the outfit. She's going all black because you can never go wrong. Cute shoes. Little snakeskin moment. Okay. Like, match my purse with the shoes. Of course. How are you <laughs> feeling? How are you feeling? Um, this is the first date I've gone on in like four years. So. First date she's gone on in four years. Wow. Let's get it where I didn't yes queen oh my gosh you guys can you believe it she's growing up 28 years <laughs> yay naturally you guys know that this would not be an ending to a vlog if i didn't catch you up on where i'm at in my reading journey i just showered off first of all and god i'm looking scary i just have been picking at my face a lot Please tell me right now, like I need you to be my friend and my good friend and tell me to stop fucking picking my face. 
because that's all I'm doing. Like, why am I doing that? It's just making it worse, but it's okay. We got zip patches. It'll suck all the yuckies out and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But anyways, let me catch you guys up on where I'm at in my reading journey. So I'm on Air of Fire right now, which is the third book, technically one, two, three, fourth book in the Throne of Glass series. I don't know what to say, whether it's the third or fourth. I started with Assassin's Blade, then it goes Throne of Glass, then it goes Crown of Midnight, and then it's Air of Fire. I am, let's see, I'm 106 pages in and I, it's fine. It's good. It's good. It's just a lot, you guys. This is young adult, so there's not any smut and there's a lot of tension building. And I just need, I need just smutty stuff right now. Just smutty stuff slapping me in my face. So naturally we started something else. I have, this is my iPad and I have Kindle Unlimited on my iPad and I am now into mafia smut. I can't get out. It's got me in a chokehold. Like I am already neck deep and this is only the first book. This is God of Malice and this is the Legacy of God's books um, by Rinna Kent. <sighs> I'm just happy to be here. And first of all, let me tell you that the first chapter in this, you're going to read it and be like, Sophia, are you okay in the head? The answer to the question is no, I'm not okay in the head, but don't let the first chapter scare you. Okay. Because let me tell you this kind of romance is not for everybody. You're going to read that. Some of you guys are going to be like, what's wrong with you? This is crazy. Not my jam. And some of you guys are going to be like, this is where I belong. So yeah, I'm loving it. Like Killian. <laughs> Hey, like I want to be in the Russian mafia smut romance world forever. So it's really getting my fix. And honestly, I'm fucking inhaling this. Like I'm already halfway through the book and I just started it a day ago. And I don't know, I'm, I'm liking Air of Fire. Finally, we got to meet Rowan. The last page of Crown of Midnight had my jaw on the floor. Like I posted a reaction to TikTok, like so shocked. I did not expect that at all, which made me excited to start Air of Fire. But like I'm a hundred pages in and I'm like, there's so much politics in here. Like I'm confused. Like I'm confused because there's this like witch that was introduced or something. And I'm like, I don't know where, who is who and what's going on. And it's just like, this is a hundred more pages than the other books. And I'm like, Oh, like there's so much world building and so much politics and I like it. I'm still in it, but I think I need a break. I think I'm going to finish God of Malice before I get back into Era Fire. I think it'll be enough of a break where it's like, I get back in. Cause I will literally finish this in the next like 48 hours because I, it's, so fucking good and then i'll hop back into this and then maybe i'll read the second book in the legacy of gods and then i'll keep going you know what i mean like i need i just need a break i need a break i can't do it all but anyways this is the final final of the vlog you guys nash and i are gonna hang out she's just gonna go on her date we're gonna drop her off i know first date in four years you guys can you believe it she's amazing she deserves the world so we'll keep you guys updated on the dating process see how that goes for for chooch but we're gonna nash and i are gonna hang out have some quality time watch a movie or something or Love Island. We're on like the latest season of Love Island UK, which is always fun to watch. And then, yeah, we're gonna hang out. I need to get to sleep because I've got a solid core class tomorrow at 5.30 in the morning. Yeah, I know, I'm doing it to myself because I just, I need to get the weekend started off right, you guys. It's gonna be so fun. St. Patrick's Day weekend. Like I'm ready to, I'm ready to party. You know what I mean? So I wanna start it off good and like, I wanna feel good. And feeling good about it myself means waking up early and, you know, setting my core on fire at solid core. So anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to be trying to pump out a lot more vlogs. It was so exciting to take you. It was so exciting. Am I okay? It was so great to take you guys along. I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.